वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फ्यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इक्वेल एंड रजिस्टेंस यूजिंग सीरीज एंड पैरल कनेक्शन ऑफ रजिस्टर्स रूल सो लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सो हियर यू कैन सी वी आर हैविंग वन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क इन विच रजिस्टर्स आर कनेक्टेड इन दिस क्रॉस मैनर so as if it is connected in this cross pattern it is difficult to identify series and parallel connection so let me redraw this circuit by considering this as point c and this as point d so now you see what i am doing is i am considering this is terminal a this is terminal b and here i am considering point c and here i am considering point d now you see this 24 ohm resistor that is there in between a and c so in between a and c i am connecting 24 ohm resistor in between a and d this 18 ohm resistor is there so in between a and d let me connect 18 ohm resistor in between b and c we have 8 ohm resistor so in between b and c i am connecting 8 ohm resistor in between c and d we have 10 ohm resistor so let me connect 10 ohm in between c and d in between b and d we have 6 ohm resistor so in between b and d let me connect 6 ohm resistor so now i have connected all the resistors now you can see this circuit is similar to wiston bridge and before you go for star delta conversion you should see whether this bridge is there in balanced condition or not so you see 24 by 8 that is equals to 3 and 18 by 6 that is equals to 3 means this bridge that is there in balanced condition right or you can say that 24 by 18 that is equals to 8 by 6 so both of the ways you can identify balance condition so as if western bridge is there in balance condition you can say that there will be zero current which is passing through this link means even if you don't connect this then also it will be fine right so let me reconnect this circuit now see as this bridge is there in balance condition i am just removing this and here you can observe 24 and 8 that is resulting into 32 as it is there in series now you see this 18 and 6 that is also there in series so that will be 18 plus 6 means 24 so now i can say that resistance in between terminal a and b right that is just parallel combination of this two so rab is equals to 32 into 24 divided by 32 plus 24 so you just solve this and just post your answer for question 1 right let me give you second question so now you can observe here we are having one interesting circuit in which we need to find equivalent resistance in between a and b now if you carefully see this circuit then you see in between a and b direct wire is shorted over here so what it means it means that it will short entire circuit which is there in between a and b so as this wire is shorted i can say that resistance in between a and b that is zero right why the reason is all the current will flow through this wire it will not take any resistance over here right so sometimes this type of very easy question comes and in entrance examination you might be thinking like there might be some trick but these are very simple question where you don't need to have any calculation let me give you one more problem so here you see we are having a circuit in which we are dealing with to find resistance now you see this resistance is connected like this in which this terminal is shorted you see over here and what is this terminal this is terminal b right 
So, here this terminal A is B, what it means that you see this is terminal A, here we are having one resistance of 5 ohm, here we are having terminal B and as this is connected like this, this 5 ohm is connected over here, right. And as this is getting shorted, this 5 ohm are shorted by this wire, right. So, equivalent R A B that is just parallel combination of phi and phi. So, that is phi into phi divided by phi plus phi. So, that will be 2.5 ohm, right. So, this is how simply we can solve this type of equation. Sometimes I have seen students are making mistake. They are considering this parallel this and this parallel this and they are adding it. So, that is a false calculation for this. You will have to see like see this terminal is shorted at terminal B. Right. So, that is just parallel of phi and phi. Let me give you one more question. So, here we are dealing with to find resistance in between terminal A and B. So, see this is terminal A, this is terminal B and here let us consider this is terminal C and let us say this is terminal C only. Why the reason is you see it is shorted over here. Right. So, let us redraw this circuit. So, this is terminal A here, let us say here we are having terminal B and in between that let us say we are having terminal C. So, you can observe that in between A and C, 8 ohm is connected. So, let me connect this 8 ohm. Now, you see in between A and C, 4 ohm is connected. So, in between A and C, I am connecting 4 ohm. Now, you see in between C and B, this 2 ohm is there. So, let us connect this 2 ohm in between C and B. And now, you see this 4 ohm that is there in between B and C. So, this is there in between B and C. So, now you can clearly observe that these two are there in parallel and its value will be 4 into 8 divided by 4 plus 8. So, that is 32 divided by 12 and you see these two are there in parallel and that is 4 into 2 divided by 4 plus 2. So, that is 8 by 6. So, I can say that equivalent resistance R A B that is addition of this two that is 32 by 12 plus 8 by 6 as these two are there in series. So, if I take LCM, then here LCM will be 12 and here 16 plus 32 that will be 48. So, this is 4 ohm. So, I hope you have understood this. Now, let me give you one more interesting question. So, in this you can observe we are having resistance connected like this in Western bridge pattern and over here we are having one inductor with impedance 6 J ohm. So, whenever this type of question is coming, first of all you should check out for balance condition of Western bridge. So, in that see if I say 8 divided by 8 that is 1 and 4 divided by 4 that is 1 means this bridge is there in balance condition or you can say that 8 by 4 that is equals to 8 by 4, right. So, this bridge is there in balance condition. What it means? In balance condition, current over here in between these two terminal that will be 0. So, even if you do not connect this, then also it will be fine, right. So, if you observe if you do not connect this, right, if you do not connect this, in that case, this two will be there in series and this two will be there in series. So, that will make it to 8 ohm over here and 16 ohm over here. So, equivalent resistance R A B that is 8 parallel 16. So, 8 into 16 divided by 8 plus 16. So, that will be so R A B that is 16 divided by 3 ohm. So, that is how we can solve questions based on series and parallel connection. Here, visibility is very essential. So, for short questions, you will have to see that carefully 
how we should be redrawing it, whether there is a bridge or not. If it is having a bridge, then you should check out for balance condition. If it is there in balance condition, you should not apply symmetry or you should not apply star delta. Directly you can have answers. So all those understanding that is highly required. So for that purpose only, I have made this video. I hope this is clear to all of you that how we can solve simple questions based on series and parallel connection. Thank you so much for watching this video.